Formula One is full of uncertainty these days. But there is one thing we can be certain of, and that is that Max Verstappen will fill one of the driver slots at Red Bull. That second seat, however, is one of those uncertainties that Formula One is known for. But in recent years, there's one name that keeps getting linked to Red Bull, and that name is none other than McLaren's prodigy Lando Norris. Could you see Lando Norris driving in a Red Bull? Would he be the ideal replacement for Sergio Perez? After Daniel Ricciardo's departure, Red Bull Racing attempted to replace him with Pierre Gasly and Alexander Albon, but with little success. Meanwhile, Sergio Perez has been Red Bull Racing's second driver for two seasons and is performing better than expected. However, Karen Chandhok believes Christian Horner and Helmut Marko would be smart to add Lando Norris to the team. They won three of the four world titles in 2021 and 2022 when Perez was on the team. Not a bad score, but in the second half of this year's season, criticism of the Mexican grew. Whereas Verstappen was still a threat in the early months of 2022, the gap between them only widened, particularly after the summer break. Is there something in the start for Red Bull and Norris? Perez will remain with Red Bull until 2024. He'll be 35 years old by the start of the 2025 season, and the question is whether the Milton Keynes-based club would give him another contract extension at that point. Chandhok said that Red Bull should go after Norris, who has a contract with McLaren until 2025. At Sky Sports, the former Formula One driver Phil Verstappen's squad should not wait until 2026. I think they, talking about Red Bull, should be going hard to try and buy Lando Norris, Chandhok said, receiving support from presenter Simon Lazenby. Absolutely spot on. The analysts do not know whether Norris will want to sit out his contract completely at McLaren at the moment when the racing team fails to become competitive. Driving another three seasons in midfield is something the young Briton would obviously prefer not to do. And it appears that the rumors were true as well, as Christian Horner, the boss of Red Bull Racing, has revealed that he's had exploratory talks with Lando Norris in recent years about the youngster potentially joining the new world champions, and on more than one occasion. Back in February, it was reported that Norris had signed a new long-term contract with McLaren to keep him at the team until 2025, after impressing with four podiums, his first pole position, and a near victory during the 2021 season. While Norris has so far remained with the team that gave him his F1 debut in 2019, Horner confirmed during the recent Mexico City Grand Prix weekend that negotiations between the driver and Red Bull had taken place in the past. We've talked to Lando a couple of times over the years, but every time we've had a conversation, he signed a contract with McLaren the next day said Horner, whose team will continue to field Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez in 2023 and 2024. He's on a long-term contract with McLaren, and it looks like he's going to be there a few more years. Norris stated why he chose to stay with McLaren for four more seasons at the time of his last renewal. The 22-year-old is convinced that he and the team may one day win races and world titles together. Teams are about people, and I love the people and feel at home at McLaren. I've grown up in this team and I'm part of this journey we're all on," said Norris, who finished seventh in the 2022 driver's standings. Last season was another great step, both in my career and the team's performance, and I see and feel all the work, investment and commitment for the team to be in a position to challenge for wins and titles in the future. This all gives me huge confidence looking forward, so it was a natural decision to extend our relationship for the next few years. Maybe that's for the best, as most drivers seem to crumble next to Max Verstappen. And even though Red Bull Racing has held talks with Lando Norris several times in the recent past, the switch has never materialized. The talented Briton still drives for McLaren, and according to racing driver Tom Coronel, that is also the wisest choice. Red Bull team boss Christian Horner himself admitted it recently. Norris was high on the wish list as a teammate for Max Verstappen, but an agreement was never reached. Every time we talked to Norris, the next day he suddenly signed a new contract at McLaren, Horner told late 2022. Norris is now stuck with the British team until 2025, and therefore the door towards Red Bull seems closed for now. Coronel thinks it's wise that Norris did not respond to Red Bull's interest, because according to him, Verstappen would have ended Norris's career without batting an eyelid. Speaking to Formula One magazine, Coronel strongly advises against Norris entering the Red Bull alongside Verstappen. 
No, then he will get the same result as all those others, Coronel said, referring to Pierre Gasly, Alexander Albon, and Sergio Perez. According to the 50-year-old driver, it would definitely not do Norris's career any good if he now steps in alongside Verstappen. Next to Max, your career just stops, he said. It was wise of Norris not to go to Red Bull. It's better to wait for another opportunity then. He is in fact doing that now. At 23 years old, Norris can also afford to have some patience. In addition, he's still under contract through the 2025 season, making an early switch to any team not very realistic at all. Verstappen, for his part, is committed to Red Bull until mid-2028, so Norris doesn't seem to be waiting for that either. However, the Briton must be patient, as the team has previously failed to compete at the top for victory. Nonetheless, Norris remains confident in his team. McLaren has dropped out of contention for fourth place in the Constructors' Championship. Alpine took a 14-point lead over the team when both Norris and Daniel Ricciardo crashed out in Brazil. Norris finished as best of the rest in the Drivers' Championship, trailing elite teams Red Bull Racing, Ferrari and Mercedes. However, seventh place is not what the British driver is after. There were high expectations for McLaren with the introduction of the new regulations at the start of the 2022 season, but the team had a dismal start. In an interview with Formula1.com, Norris discloses the guarantees he received from McLaren. It's just faith. It's just honesty. That's the main thing I need. I'm not a guy who in any way likes BS or who likes people trying to make me happy. I like just people being honest. I have faith in McLaren. I have faith in the guys I work with, the whole team. But time will tell. You can never be 100% certain where you're going to be, but you can have a good shot at it says a 23-year-old driver. Next year, Norris will face a new challenge in the form of teammate Oscar Piastri, who replaces compatriot Ricardo from 2023. Although Norris is pleased with the team, he's far from delighted with the season. According to the best of the rest driver, the racing stable is eager to compete for the World Championship, and a fifth-place finish is still too low for the squad. He anticipates a stronger year in 2023. If we want to do well and be champions at some point and win races, we can't be satisfied with where we've been this season. We can be satisfied with the progress that we've made and the mechanics, pit stops, and the work ethic we need just a slightly better car. That leaves us with the question, will Lando Norris be provided with a championship-worthy car anytime soon? If not, will he end up switching teams? And where could he go? Could he fill in for Lewis Hamilton after he retires? Or maybe someone at Ferrari if they keep losing out on the championship. Or perhaps Aston Martin's wild dreams will come true. They'll be able to produce a championship-worthy car. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. So now you know why Lando Norris will probably never drive for Red Bull. Who can you see filling up the second seat of Red Bull in the coming years? Let us know down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.